Coming up with jokes about cardboard boxes is pretty hard, so instead, I just use recycled ones. <laughs> Give them that. Welcome to Graham Games. My name is Graham. This is a game. Today I'm playing Anton's Complex from New Malcominia. This is like a riddle, riddle school, riddle transfer style fan game made in scratch. Quite impressively, I, I think like the scale of Scratch games is quite broad. I suppose the scale of Flash games is too. So you know, it's just uh, getting comfortable with a new media. I never played the demo of this. I figured I would hold out for the full game. So I'm curious to see to what extent they kind of made it their own. Interest. They, they still use this little menu thing where uh, the face changes as you hover over different icons. They're using kind of the monochrome style background a lot of grays and whites and things but i'm also realizing that the the simple eye style is straight from riddle school the formatting of the title is riddle school and even the this character the look of them reminds me of a different john bro animation back when he was still john bro not even a riddle school thing yeah i do want to watch the intro though give me the full shebang the full story Scratch. <laughs> I'm, I think it's extra hard to do like animation in Scratch, like fade ins and things. It's just made that much more difficult. Huh? Where am I? It's almost like they're waking up. Okay. They're not like waking up on the slab the way Phil and friends did back in like Riddle School 5, Riddle Transfer. This is a bit concerning. It See, the I, I, the only reason I mentioned the fade outs there is that it ends up looking a little weird. Like the, the red itself almost changes in transition there. <laughs> urinal, no escape. This urinal is flawed in many ways. For starters, it doesn't even flush. No auto flushers in this forsaken facility. It's a crack. I'll try not to step on it. You'd have to go pretty out of your way. I'd be kind of impressed. Now I want to see you step on it. No escape. Not a very motivational poster, I'd say. I guess I'll take some tape. Besides, the poster is just nailed to the wall. <laughs> oh yeah, it's very specifically pinned in there. I guess motivational posters are a thing. This is... Not even the opposite of motivational, which I just want to say unmotivational, but like there's got to be a distinct word. I'm not exactly sure what would happen if that camera were to catch me, but I'd feel better deactivating it before trying to leave. I mean, the funny thing is that presumably they're monitoring you and they already know that you're in here. It's not like it would discover you. It was as simple as that. I thought maybe that would work. But it seemed too simple. The tape covered up the camera sensor quite nicely. Is the camera sensor, in this case, the entire lens? Because I think you covered the whole thing. I should be good to go. Well, you know what I mean. Good to advance to the next step. To go, you just mosey right on out the door. It's a mission complete. It's likely that vent leads to something desirable. In fact, I bet I could fit in there. Unfortunately, the vent cover is screwed on tight. So the plan is fittingly screwed. Perhaps you could tape it open? Seems to have worked fine so far. Hmm, the F is the only worn out one. Didn't work. I thought, ooh, the H is a little bit as well. So obviously, FHFH. It made so much sense to me. Judging by the sign, <laughs> the door's probably locked. Maybe it's a decoy, though. It's all just hand-waving, you know? It's, it's just to distract you from actually attempting to open it. I'm guessing I'll probably have to enter a code into that keypad. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I think it would be a funny narrative device if Anton, this character, grew up playing Riddle School, and that's why they're, like, immediately tuned into this and have ideas of, like, how they're going to solve these puzzles. They could play any point-and-click adventure game, but it would be fitting headcanon. Anton is a big Riddle School fan. That that is a game within this game, you know? If you can't read, that sign says locked. 
Although then you're pretty out of luck, because you're gonna have to re read this dialogue box regardless, so I think you're not figuring anything out in, in that case. Duct tape really does solve all problems. Oh, the C, the C and the D, so E, C, C, D, and then it resets. I gotcha, I gotcha. That, I was totally on the wrong line of thinking with like certain ones being more worn out than others. Open sesame. S822, I'll try to keep that in mind in case that matters. Sadly, this button is just painted on the wall. Dang, I was really excited to finally push a big red button. That is uh, just cruel that you would put that on there. Although, even if it were there, and it's just fully exposed like that, it seems like a trap. They would want you to press it, you know? This cell is locked. I can't tell if there's anyone inside. You know, just the transitions, the music choices, things like that. Like, the art isn't quite as detailed as, you know, John Chrome's was, but he, he put a ton of detail into his art. It's hard to live up to. I think this is, like, a pretty impressive recreation of, of the formula. I'm, I'm into it. Wow. <laughs> I wonder what happened here that demanded the window be boarded up. Well, it's not like I was going to jump out of it in the first place. I don't think pressing F3 would help right now. I really, really don't think it would, but I'm going to try. It just opened up like a search thing. Like a <laughs> I, I didn't think it was very likely that they would program in something like that into this game. A snow picture. Ah, snow. The Endless Pun Generator. This is where I would make a joke about snow, but I don't snow how. But I've decided to chill out from those. Okay, I lied. Arnold Schwarzenegger would be proud. That metal cover is blocking my way to the second floor. There's probably a way to move it, considering I made it this far. It's not a bad assumption. <laughs> I guess, I guess if things have continued to work out well for you, you'd have no reason to think it would stop. Other than being a blatant fire hazard, this torch serves no purpose. There's already ceiling lights, so it can't be for a light source. Thinking about the weird design of this building makes my head hurt. Yeah, but maybe it's secretly a lever, or just to roast your marshmallows on. In case you have a handful of unroasted marshmallows and you need to make s'mores, it's got you covered. This suspicious panel is screwed tight onto the wall, and due to my poorly drawn arms, I can't pull it off. <laughs> There's something like you can't pull it off, but it also becomes like a feeling of like a fashion thing. Uh, I can't pull that panel off. That's so hip and modern. I'm stuck in 2017. I'm angry. No, I'm angry. The screwdriver and this crowbar are probably hanging up or conveniently hanging up here. They could prove to be useful. I'll take them. Also the cat doll? The cat doll seems a bit familiar. Have I seen it before? I'm gonna guess that's from something else that Malcolm is, has made. Coming up with jokes about cardboard boxes is pretty hard. So instead, I just use recycled ones. <laughs> it's pretty good. I'll give them that. They got me, led, bait, baited me right into it. The door to the lounge is locked. Wow, what's the, everything in this whole place is locked? No one's allowed to use any rooms? In fact, there's not even a doorknob here, so I'm definitely not getting in through this way. I'm telling you, just yank on the torch. Can you crowbar it down or something? Oh, you could crowbar the panel. You could screwdriver the panel. <laughs> The panel unscrewed quite nicely with the screwdriver. Multi-use. We already know another puzzle we need the screwdriver for. Revealing wires. Well, now is the time to crowbar, of course. These wires are strangely thick. I'm going to need to use something to cut these. Wow. I sure do love stating the obvious. Hmm. There's a chance I started to play this once. And then realized, you know, it's a demo, it's a demo, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait and pl play the full thing. I'm totally wigging myself out with this, I don't, I don't recall all of a sudden. There goes the vent cover. 
I guess I'm doing this now. Is this, is this written by Joss Whedon? <laughs> so I guess this is happening. It's just he just kind kind of likes to state the obvious like that, in like a like a jokey whoa kind of way. It's a good thing these vent shafts are so unnecessarily large, fully made for an, an Anton. I don't think I should go that way. From what I can see, that way leads into a big metal fan. I'm not exactly in the mood to get dismembered. We'll take away the option. Scratch that one off. No need to, like, convince yourself that, oh, maybe someday. Maybe someday I'll go that direction. No, 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 it's fine. Oh, this is a different, this is the other room? I honestly don't know how to open that door. There's not a keypad or anything. Yeah, but if we just follow the exact same hint as before, mm, this one doesn't actually have a hint. Do they really just have the same neon sign for every cell? From what I know, that's a huge waste of electricity and money. Well, at least it had puzzle importance. <laughs> I guess you could give it that. There's another security camera that way, and I'm all out, out of tape. That feels a little bit like uh, I'm here to kick ass and chew bubblegum and I'm all out of bubblegum. Weirdly that, but also super not. I don't think I should risk it. No biscuit for you, Anton. I'm sorry. It's the rules. I'm not really a coffee person. I'm, I'm literally just drinking a, a, like a coffee right now. It tastes like dirt. Not the good kind of dirt. Well, maybe you're buying the wrong kind of dirt. Or the wrong kind of coffee. It could be either. Ah, it's an acquired taste. I used to have it like once every week at most. I didn't have it for like 25 years of my life or whatever. And then, then it went from like once a week to this is nice on the weekends to now I just enjoy it. It's like a routine thing. These cabinets are locked. Just what I need, more tools. <laughs> have they not served you well so far? Honestly, I would love to sit down and relax right now, but I'm too busy trying to escape. Maybe later. Rip, tear, cut on into it. Crowbar them open, cut them open. I know that doesn't make any sense, but try anyways. <laughs> hmm, I guess the scissors is maybe all I was meant to, probably all I was meant to get from there. I could crowbar down this poster just in case I decided I, 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 I want it for myself. I see no reason to attempt to combo some of these things. I'm kind of just messing around. But the crowbar and the urinal does make me think of Madness Interactive. Those are two of, like, the primary melee weapons in that game. Pleasant memories. Could you just crowbar that? I, okay. That seemed too easy. Didn't think that would make a lot of sense. Could you just crowbar this? I didn't think to just crowbar that. All right, security camera cut. And the floor cover cut. It's interesting that those two things are solved the same way. Like I would have liked to have maybe seen more distinct solutions, but it's kind of neat, I guess. Now it just opens up these multi options uh, all at once. I'm getting super spun around here. Now, now, now I'm where I needed to be. A key card. That's the most useful item I've found so far, considering I've basically just been picking up random junk this whole time. I guess kind of, a little bit, yes. It's another urinal, except this one's covered in green gunk, typical bathroom gunk, you know? That's grosser than gross. And a missing poster, that's kind of funny, because there's no one in this room because they escaped, and so now they can no longer truthfully claim that there's no escape, there is at, for certain at least some escape. <laughs> and so they're just trying to be consistent and trying to be honest. Whoever's hel holding us captive here, they have some, some measure of integrity. It looks like there used to be a poster here, but it was taken off. It must be one of those I didn't draw posters that I've heard so, so much about. <laughs> there's like a, the, the I can't draw brand drum set in Jonochrome, I think is, is the original joke. Nice reference tying it in in a unique way. I'm safe from this camera for now <laughs> until it comes back for its revenge. Surely it cannot tolerate an escapee. 
May 6th, May 25th, 2006. Why did I just read that as a, a day and not a year? What the hell? May 25th, 2006. I'm almost certain that's incorrect. Yeah. And I can't even think of like, there's not like a keypad or anything that I'm aware of that we would need that for. Okay, the numbering of everything is getting notably more complex. Hey, I think somebody's in here. Hello? Is somebody there? Oh, hi. My name's Anton. I'm trying to escape this complex. It's a complex... Complex, I tell you that. My name is Alex. I'm trying to escape this cell. You wouldn't happen to have the key for the cell door, would you? Sorry, I don't. But I'll let you know as soon as I see it. Please do. Oh, I saw it. Although I think it opened the other one. Have you found the key yet? No, okay, it's, it's different. Fantastic. Oh, a, t a T-min plushie. Wow, a T-min plushie. I have one of these at home. I actually had two at one point, but then sold it to some guy in a yellow shirt. These are references that I don't think I'm quite understanding. I'm curious if Alex is a character from like a larger series from this creator. I can't use this computer right now. It's not plugged in. In fact, it doesn't even have a cord to plug in. So basically, I need a cord. Shockingly, it's an outlet. There's a key inside labeled cabinet. Who would throw this away? I agree, and I assume it is not for this. Is this the right key? No, it doesn't fit. Come back when you have the right key. How about I don't come back at all? Quit giving me that, your guff. It's a crack. It's the same old joke. Not, not, up, not, up. Not up. Not, not up. Wow, that's not, 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 not confusing. Someone's having fun with their double negatives. How to escape step one. Don't. You know, well, kids, you, you can't always believe what you read. Yeah, it's true. That sequence will never result in escaping. So, yeah, they are. They're lying to you. Careful. I don't want to get my invisible shoes wet. Are they invisible or are they just black? Creature containment. Oh, we're getting the... No, this isn't even, it's funny because this is a weird roundabout thing to like Riddle School 5, tr Riddle Transfer, I'm losing track of what plot points happen in which one. I think it's Riddle Transfer 1 that has all the captive enemies like the goat, the flying pig, the, the big toe, and the, the abominable snowman. But then this is just one of the monkeys that I think their teacher is obsessed with in like Riddle School 3. Hello there. Hi, me Amy. Who are you? Nice to meet you, Amy. I'm Anton. Say, how did you get here? Bad men take Amy from jungle and put in cage. Amy don't mind all that much, but Amy's starving. Does Anton have food for Amy? Sorry, I don't. Please get food for Amy. Will do. Hey, why can't I get my own sign? Plants are my fronds. They're always rooting for me. I know, I know. Nah, I was hoping for a third, man. Comedy comes in threes. People say a broken clock is right twice a day. I've always loved that phrase. I do just genuinely think it, it's quite funny. Not if the clock has no hands, it isn't. Yes, that's true. This clock is very specifically never correct. It is the worst clock of all time, definably. Flakes! Serial poster. It looks kind of like Blockhead, but not really. <laughs> I remember the first time I ever had flakes. Actually, I don't. I've, I've never tried flakes. Generic delicious flakes. Food is fuel. So it stands to reason that fuel is food. We'll just give this to Amy. This jug of fuel is about a foot out of my reach. I think I see a key stuck in the wood chipper. In fact, I think that's Alex's cell key. Maybe I can get it out somehow. Screw driving it open, crowbarring it open, keying it open. None of those things. Little smiley faces. Is that a reference to smiley? I feel like not. I feel like it would be more direct in its explanation of how that is somehow 
the same or, or meant to be like a direct reference. I, I don't think as is that I would be feel convinced of that. The exit. Just head on out of here, right? I swear this place has some sort of hyperfixation on neon signs. According to the sign, this is the only way out, and of course it's locked. And for once, the sign didn't distinctly tell you it was locked. It was something you just had to discover for yourself. Uh, I guess we're I'm guess we're not taking the cat with us. Just probably not, right? Oh, dang it. Well, I have lost track of what else out there is locked. Like, this wouldn't do me any good. I've already found my way into there. Dang, I'm stuck. The cabinet. Cabinet's unlocked, mission accomplished, and a ruler. Yellow stick acquired. Not at all what I really thought I was looking for. My only, the only thing I can think of here is that you would fiddle around that was, that was all I could think. Can I cut the, the wires behind the computer and, and then plug them into the outlet? Just do some master electrician work to salvage it? No, where was... <laughs> what, what was it in the game where uh, the character Anton specifically... I didn't realize you could click on yourself. He specifically says uh, that is a foot out of reach. Now we have, you know, we have a ruler. I like that there's a little cutscene, especially specifically using a cutscene with the ruler. Very Riddle School 3. Fueling! So we're gonna turn on the wood chipper? There! Now the wood chipper is fueled up. It should be functional now. Didn't we want it to not be functioning, not running? Like, we're gonna have to stick our hand in there to fish a key out, right? I think I see a key stuck in there. I, I think turning it on seemed like maybe a mistake. I don't know... What it, what is it you're planning to chipper? We don't have any wood to toss in there. Oh, I could crowbar the wood off of here. I'm feeling brave. I think I'll take this plank. Perhaps it could be of use. That only vaguely makes sense to me. I guess, kind of a, a little bit. We'll give it a go. Could be fun to chip a bunch of wood up to nothing. It really just belched it out of there, didn't it? It's labeled sell. That's I just instinctively will instinctively reach for that one because it was green and green. Here, is this the right key? Yeah, hold on. I'm curious if I'll recognize this character. No, I don't know them. I was wondering if it was a character from a different Riddle School fan game. I thought that would have been funny. But they kind of are the coloration of Phil a little bit. Hey, thanks for getting that key for me. I'll be heading out now. You see, that's kind of the problem. The door on the bottom floor is still locked, which I'm trying to fix. So for the time being, could you just wait down there? Fine, I guess. Plate of food. I think this concoction is supposed to be some kind of food. Anyway, I'm taking it. Wax Cola. It just tastes like wax. <laughs> That's the literalness of that joke is just not at all where I thought that was going. And I kind of love it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just melted wax in a can. <laughs> Sir, you don't want to drink master melted wax, do you? Maybe I do, son. One of the best episodes of The Simpsons. Plate of food for our Amy. Uh. That food is cold. Get hot food for Amy. Gee, you sure are one picky chimp. I really, that's the best burp on command I've ever mustered up in my entire life. It is not something I think I'm at all good at. <laughs> I guess we are heating food over this flame. There we are. Now this food is warmed up. That is just so picky. Amy, come on. I am I want out of here enough that I'm willing to do this for you, but I really shouldn't have caved. Shouldn't have given in to your demands. Ah, uh, this food will do nicely. Amy will give Anton reward. Thanks. I guess. For some reason, 
This chimp is carrying around computer parts. Coincidentally, this cord fits perfectly into a computer. Into this computer. Complex control. Log on. Open all doors, please. To access complex control, please complete the security puzzle. Click and drag the square to move. Do not touch any thingies. Oh, I haven't done like a, a maze game in forever. These were like very popular in the early days of Flash. Are there going to be multiple stages? Not quite. Turn off the fans. And... And emergency lighting? I created a candle in front of a room that I've lost track of which is which? Okay, pretty lousy excuse for an emergency lighting. Yeah, you guys have Christmas lights hung up all over the place, but that's not emergency. That's just party lighting. That's just for fun, nice and decorative. Oh, nuts. Obviously, I have to go light the candle. That's such a... Obvious step. Candle lit. Is that kind of supposed to be a joke on like, you know, a trophy git, metal git, but instead it was just lit? Let there be a light. This gross green goop grandly gravitates to the great grimy ground. Graham stated. <laughs> I, don't have a, I don't have a G word for that. What's up with all these boxes everywhere? Is there even anything in them? Why is no one obeying any of the d directions on the box? Does everyone think that anarchy is just okay? Ah, panel. We meet again. And as expected, it's screwed tight onto the wall. We threw away our crowbar, kept the screwdriver. Off comes the panel cover. Deadlock off. I don't need to know what that means. I can take a guess. Seemed like it would be a good thing. There was a chance that in some way, you know, I, I would be dead after flipping the lock. That felt like a preposterous interpretation, and it was. What are you waiting for? Let's go! Anton's Complex. I'm curious if like 822 or any of the other letter number combinations or anything throughout the game meant anything, or like if they were, yeah, like just random. You know? Ah, oh, you! We made it to the credits! You! The end, at least until I eventually make the sequel. I'm impressed that they saw through this project. There's some fun ideas there. It's just such a simple game format that you can put almost any characters in any situation and throw a couple puns in and some bang and jams in the background. And it's just, it's kind of a fairly simple formula to recreate. And I, I love that all these years later that people are still inspired by Riddle School. I think that's really cool. Love seeing it. And so I was, I was happy and excited to check out this game. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you again soon.